past 20 years. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Wedding Day Blues. The June Bride Murder Case. Somebody dying at a wedding, dog. <laughs> they getting crazy. A middle school teacher that Rand and I had is getting married. I wanted to see the wacko who's marrying her. Dang. <laughs> Look at yo, Sunichi piss. Torture me for three years. Dang, she had the whip. <laughs> No wonder somebody gonna kill her. Oh, you looking nice. You looking nice. Oh, oh. She got the camera. Some warm lemon tea. Warm lemon poison, huh? Here, use my poison straw. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> it's like, no, it's like, no. I'm sorry about Toshi. Slap my booty on my wedding day? Your new hubby used to be my boyfriend. Oh, I'm not gonna tell everyone. Your new hubby used to be my boyfriend. Why are we friends? Why are we friends? That's your ex and you pulling up to my wedding? Are we homies? This is a weird triangle of friendships already, bro. She poisoned you. She made sure you drunk that lemon tea. That's the last tea you're gonna have. Okay, you're prime suspect, but that's not usually how these cases go. Another can. No, you're gonna die too. What's up then? What's up with it? Their boss's daughter's wedding. Police superintendent, my father. Say words, bro. Dang. Came in here looking like he ready to box. You sure you want to marry him? You gonna ask me this now, dad? Sugary rubbish. Not nearly as beautiful as your dead mother. That dad, dang, dad, you say a compliment and walk out, bro. You just ruined it with that second part. Dang. Got some roses. Who's he? That's her side man. Okay. Everybody loves the lemon tea. Only I could ever make you happy. <laughs> Dang, he was her side man. That's crazy. Like, get this bow off my straw. The battery's almost out. That was like five minutes of recording. Get off me, lady. Kudo looked like my very first boyfriend. Neighborhood candy store. Secretly still my favorite drink. Warm lemon tea. Aww. Suddenly moved away. Huh. Okay, she had a childhood lover that would fight for him, fight for her and get her her lemon tea. That's why she loves lemon tea so much. But he suddenly moved away. Is this the husband? Aren't you not supposed to see the dress yet till it's time to walk down the aisle? Oh, wait till the wedding. Dang. Oh, she said I couldn't wait. Give me my lemon tea back. Look, threw him off. Threw him off. <laughs> Whoa, that sound. Oh, play the music. This is crazy. Immediately? Why she got bruises? Dang, was that blood out her mouth? That's blood coming out her mouth. Ooh, what did y'all feed her? And it was instant right after we all left. Was it the husband that just exchanged something with her? But it couldn't have been that quick. It couldn't have been. And whatever's going on, it's like it's something that had to build up from the tea. They want us to clearly think of the tea as a suspect. But like, bro, it, I feel like it would have built up and she would have felt it while we were in there. On the wedding day, y'all disrespectful with these murders. Floating in the tea, what's that? A capsule. Somebody dropped it in the tea. The side dude that came in there and said, ah, oh, I'm upset. He could have put it in there. So let me think of when the girl came that brought the tea. Did she have it open? She handed her the can. Did she open it yet? I don't think so. She handed her the can in the straw. She actually put the straw in. So it was open. Okay, it could have been anybody. Uh, the dad came in. He said, why do you still drink this? The side man came in. He grabbed the cup to put a bow tie on the straw. I keep calling him a side man, but he's just, he was, he was another class student. And then the husband came in too. Maybe he didn't like her. Oh, he had to get rid of her. He had a side woman. <laughs> psych, 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 psych. I don't think it was the husband. Come, you're not counting him. He entered the room too. It's a police superintendent would never or I'm a suspect just as much as the others. Okay, respect. Hey, inspector, that's kind of crazy that you weren't gonna just point the blame on him as well just because he's a superintendent. Come on, bro. A video. Ooh, but it died. You put the straw in there. Everyone grab this stupid cup. Everyone grab the cup. You idiots. Everyone, everyone. 
everyone had a chance to poison the drink. So I guess the wedding's canceled, huh? Time she drinks it. She always drink with such happiness, but I never got her name. Is he talking about her as a child? She literally said he would, there was a boy that would get her drinks. Is he the, is he, is he the childhood friend? Come on now, come on now. It would take 15 to 16 minutes for it to dissolve. Wow, okay. 15 before she collapsed. So it can't be the husband. It can't be the, the groom because it was immediately after we left with them. So it could have been any of them before him. It was out the groom and myself. We came to see her after. Superintendent's fingerprints aren't anywhere on it. Superintendent's fingerprints aren't on it. There was two cans, but he handed the second can was given to the friend. What can did the superintendent touch? That was the one she was drinking from. But there was two cans. When Sonoko left, she didn't have her can. Ooh, where did the capsule come from? It was swapped out right there. Did the can get swapped out from the friends? In the trash can in the hallway, sodium hydroxide. Y'all gonna dump it in the trash can outside, bro. Come on. I figured it out. Who smeared her dress with blood? Huh? Who smeared her dress with blood? Old man Mori isn't around. You gonna do her like that too? Dang, Conan. You just do anybody. Hold on. Let me let me sync up minds too. Let's get it. She's not even a detective, Conan. Y'all gonna make her solve it? And they're gonna take her seriously. The poison and the capsule were added in separately. To fool us into thinking was added 15 minutes prior. There's proof. Oh, let's see it, Conan. The can of lemon tea. Ooh, was it in a different direction when she goes to pick it back up? It was. It was turned. It was turned. Ha <laughs> ha! Facing different directions. They wanted us to pay attention that closely to the label of the can in the recording. I figured the can was swapped out. I figured that out early. But like, how did the swap happen? Did she swap the can out? Or what's what's going on? Do you remember where I put my lemon tea? Put it on the table. Two cans perfectly lined up. She took my can. Between her taking the wrong can and collapsing, was holding the can, she took it. The husband? There's one other person, the side man. Wait, huh? Suicide? Stop it, stop it, stop it. But if she did mix the poison in, added it shortly before collapsing, she would need two things. She needed a container. The only person could have slipped the poison into the lemon tea. What? You are disgusting. Huh? Oh yeah, beat him, trash him. Oh, and the dad is here too. I'll tell you, 20 years ago, ran over my mother, dang. We, we taking it back that far? And you gonna kill my daughter that had nothing to do with this? Bro, I don't care about your little side story. Dad, you need this. Ah, ah, ow, ooh. And then throw him out the window too. I don't care. I don't care, bro. You should have pressed me then. Dang. Dang. You cannot tell me his little backstory. It's the fact that as a kid, his mom died. He found out who the cop that did its daughter is and became a best friend of his daughter with the 20 year intention of eventually marrying her to kill her all in spite of the dad, bro. You know how crazy of a life mission that is? Oh my God. You didn't help my mom. You went to chase the guy. That's crazy. Kill him. Instant I learned she was your daughter. Back to life. Dang, that's crazy. Why didn't you kill me? That's what I'm saying. Kill me. You wouldn't get to experience how heartbreaking it is. God dang. You are crazy, dude. <laughs> I wanted you to experience the pain. Oh, I hope you're satisfied, bro. Lock him up. She was one stupid girl. You, you're insane. Bro, you could have been did this. You could have been did this. You didn't even have to go this far into marrying her. Y'all could have just got close enough to be friends and then did it there. You didn't have to marry. You took this way too far, bro. This, this was unnecessary. Sayori knew everything, even about the accident. What? You're the first boyfriend that she always been thinking about. Past 20 years. Oh! Oh! Oh my God. And he didn't know? Bro, bro, you killed your first love. This was the girl that you were snatching tea for. And she's been obsessed with tea ever since. How did how did that conversation, y'all getting married, how did that conversation never happen on why she loves tea so much? Maybe she tried to hide the fact that she had a little crush 
as a child, but but that's a big deal. And then he would have brought up the fact, oh yeah, I used to get tea for this one girl when I was a kid too. And you killed her. You ki Oh my goodness, this is crazy. She didn't know what to do to earn your forgiveness. Oh shoot. She saw him poison the drink. She saw him poison the drink and drunk it anyway. She said, if this is what you want, I'm a dr This is crazy. I thought the plot twist would end after we found out who did it. Look at his face. He the one feeling pain. He did this to himself. She knew and she drunk it anyway. Oh my God. Get him out of here. Stable condition. She survived. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, lock him up. Lock him up. This was crazy. Oh, shoot. That's the craziest story after finding out the murderer, bro. That was an insane twist of plot, bro. Jay, don't forget to watch the outro. I got it. I got it, y'all. Two months later. Look at her. Looks like I only succeeded in getting him in trouble. No, he deserves it. He deserves it. Buy you a drink. Are you buying lemon tea? I'm never drinking lemon tea again. Get you, get you a cola. Aha, uh -huh, sure. I'll be terrified of lemon tea. She was married three years later. Are you kidding me? And they still went through with the marriage. Look at the dad in the back like this. Like, really? <laughs> really? I wouldn't let this happen. This is crazy. He tried to kill my daughter. And now I know that he hates me because I let his mom die. I don't trust him. Now I know I don't trust him because he said he doesn't like me. Ain't no way he deserves a happy ending. I don't care about people's backstories, bro. It's about what you doing right now. Let's get to the next one, y'all. The elevator murder case. Somebody died in the elevator. Hopefully they had some elevator music playing. That's a good way to go out. All right, emergency exit. He switched some shoes out. Wait, was he wearing heels? He was wearing some heels. Switched to some sneaks. Okay, I'm on you. The hair looked like he could possibly be a boy or a girl. I saw some jewelry though. Fitting room. Ooh, switch it up. I think this is a woman. Okay. Ooh, you created confusing footprints. You think you slick. You think you're slick. Obviously, you're doing something sneaky. That's the suspect. <laughs> oh, she thinks she's smart. Oh, you're a fan? He a fan? <laughs> he a fan. Look at him getting ready. Oh, okay. Get in there and make some moves, bro. There's Today's a holiday. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you the sketchy woman. Are big purses the latest style? It'll catch on soon. She carrying some stuff in there. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kogoro. Make your move. The famous detective. Oh, she know about you too, bro. I got you some flowers. All right. Who's this? Secretary. Conan. I'm going to solve this. I'm being forced to work on the weekends now. Is she being sarcastic? Whatever you like. Go to the A floor fitting room and get ready. Go to the A floor fitting room and get ready. I think something's about to go down and she needs, she's going to pin her. Because in the beginning, she went to the fitting room, the, the fitting room floor to leave some trail of steps. What kind of shoes she got on too? She needs, she needs shoes to match a certain person's shoes. It was sneakers. She's trying to pin somebody with sneakers on. She turned in her letter of resignation. Still pushed a button for her. She had to make sure that she got in that elevator. You nasty, you nasty. We on you already. Conan is so observant, bro. 15th floor. She's going to the eighth. Direct elevator to the eighth floor. Oh, she made sure to hit the button for her. Was that also for print's sake? So that her prints weren't on the button? I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. A death happened. She won't answer. Why is she so worked out? Worked up about someone not answering a phone call? Facts. Like, why is she so worked up about it? She's not answering. She needs to act panicked like she didn't have. That's the thing, bro. You shouldn't have act over panicked like that, bro. Even, you didn't need to be Conan to figure that one out. Like, calm down. All right, she didn't answer the call? Okay, dang. Did you want to wait for her to come back down? We literally just saw her go up to the fitting room. She's probably changing her clothes, bro. That's where you messing up at. It's stuck on the eighth floor. Something have happened to her? See, this is where criminals mess up. You're acting too over panic, over paranoid, as if you know something bad's already happened. Calm down. You're making it too easy for us. So this is one of them cases that we already know who did it. We just need to see how Conan's gonna solve it. She was ready. She practiced, she practiced all week that scream. You did it good. You did it pretty good. Damn! 
Dang, in the chest? Look at the elevator constantly trying to close on her. <laughs> Footprints on the floor. Look at how quick she's detecting. Like she's doing too much. She's someone who just saw a body is not already looking for clues, bruh. She's doing way too much. And this case would be harder if she wasn't doing too much. They snuck in and stabbed her. This is a crazy murder. You planned everything down to the T. Look, hold on. I'm going to let Conan hit you with a side eye. <laughs> Look at him. You on her. Conan already knows. Conan is like, this one's solved. She put the steps there. She knew that she would get stabbed and die there. But how did you stab her? This is the magic trick part. Because how did you get her stabbed in the elevator? Because the part where you last night you already put those footsteps there to look like it didn't come from the... That is ridiculous plan. That's why you had sneakers on and you have on heels. It's going to be hard for us to pin it on you if you had heels on the entire day. They're shoes that were never in the elevator. He went to the end of the hall, turned around, walked that way, and then walked back that way. Something is not going to correlate with the death. Like stabbing someone in the chest, the way she landed, the direction she landed at too, wouldn't make sense just based off of the pathway. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's almost like she knew this would happen. Yeah. Yeah, get her, Conan. Look at her trying to direct everybody. She's trying to lead the case. She's smearing off Prince. She planned this down to the T. Conan, get her. Must have been a man. Okay, you're slick. Her shoulder creased like that. Somebody gripped up her arm. It's lying on the ground, facing away from the elevator. That's what I was saying. That's why the footsteps don't correlate. If she was stabbed, she would fall inside of the elevator. Not in that direction. In the elevator, bro inside of it that's what i'm saying pulled her into the hallway why would they need to do that pulled her into the hallway so that it can you they can't take a step inside of the elevator because the footprints are already pre-made we need you to die right here so it matches the footprints this goes non-stop to the 15th floor non-stop to the eighth floor these are non-stop elevators only two elevators can go to the 15th floor burglar breaking in Unlocked the first floor, took the stairs to the eighth, he ran. That's how the lady wanted it to look like. Okay, I understand now. There's no way you could have been a murderer. Why not? Yeah, Conan, get him. Different elevators at the same time. Eighth floor, was murdered immediately. 15th. If y'all don't let Conan solve these cases already. Yeah, let's go. He said, I'm gonna handle this myself. Okay, okay. This is the 15th floor elevator. Okay, fancy carpeting, flower petal. Is that some pee? Pollen. Whoa, what's going on? Tape marks. Huh. So nobody could use that elevator. That's from the roses that uh, Morogi gave him? Flower petals and pollen here. She got up here because obviously, what's his name? He gave those flowers to her. She had to get those upstairs to prove. So she must have went straight up, tossed the flowers to the side. She tossed them right there for now. And however she had to commit the murder, she did it. And she had to come back up later to grab them, to put them in her office or whatever. Taking the stairs. That would have took too long. Four to five minutes. Yeah. They were inside the elevator. This little 15 elevator has some type of trick to it or something. She has a way of getting in to this elevator the other way. Because I feel like she was in behind her in this elevator turned her around and stabbed her and laid her down like that bruh tape marks now i get it alibi trick involving elevators <laughs> we knew that conan even even if they didn't show us that first part which i i think they had to show us that for us to like understand because if they didn't show us that in the beginning when conan starts to solve this i would have got pissed like bro that's plot how are we supposed to figure that out that's something we probably wouldn't be able to figure out without them showing us that so I gotta respect it. I gotta respect it. Look at Conan getting good with his sniper shot, bro. That is crazy. You're the one who murdered Taniguchi. Oh, got her. She's like, how do you know? Look at her. She's she scared. What those footprints looked like. Run away, right? They would be more far apart. She walked like a dum dum. You're right. Now that is. That is correct. Someone would run away unless they were just a psychopath and, and finished the job and just was like, just like walked away. <laughs> but that that points further to the blame that this was pre-planned. The walking away part. You hid the sneakers that don't fit inside your large purse. You're the one who pressed the call button. You needed her to use the center elevator. Wow. Dialing her number. How did you know that, Conan? 
It's hard for cell phones to connect while inside the elevators you see. Come to the 15th floor. What? Tape the coin to the call button. Wow! You tape the coin to the call button so that her prints wouldn't be on the button. And that's the evidence that's in her bag right now. Make sure the elevator doors wouldn't close. Wow! Now we come to the trick, the direction. Wait, so she got killed on the 15th floor. What? On the 15th floor, got behind her, she pressed the button for the eighth. She propped her in the sitting. Nah, nah, she can't do that. She can't do that. The doors would have detected her and like opened back up as she's trying to hold her to stay propped up. Nah, nah, that would have been impossible to pull off unless you're also inside, but we gonna let it slide. So then when the door opens, she just falls out flat when uh, she lands out. Okay, okay, some of that, that's plot because the, the sensor would have stopped. That is a crazy plan. That is a crazy plan. I didn't even think she, she died in the 15th floor. That's crazy. Crease on the shoulder. Oh, that was from the elevator gripping her jacket. I thought the crease was from somebody grabbing her to like direct her or like turn her around. Her fingerprint should have been on the eighth floor call button. No fingerprints. Didn't we say it was a coin? With her fingerprint. Oh yeah, when he smeared, you pressed the call button. Removed her prints by wiping it off. Aha! There's proof, all right. Echo's purse. She shouldn't have been able to dispose of them. Oh, she got gloves? Bloodied gloves in the bag. That's why she had to get out of here. Wow. All because of the company. The evidence is here too. Here goes here goes the backstory. Betrayed me? Let her resignation while she was I kill her while she's still with the company. Oh my god. I didn't know what to do. I didn't have a change of heart. Dang. It's crazy, bro. Women, when women have grudges, bro, women are way different than men, bro. When women have grudges, they crazy. They are crazy. I think women are willing to kill very more for a very more range of reasons than a guy bro like they they take it personally goodness she said i made sure she died with the company she dying with us <laughs> you gonna kill this company all right then die with it all right let's get to the outro what happened let's see her in prison i wanted someone with a healthy mind and body such as yourself oh i actually did think you were beautiful okay peace i left him there passed out everybody just left without him he's still chilling all cool <laughs> This case took a toll on him. <laughs> oh my God, Conan can't keep getting away with this, bro. Okay, y'all, that is another two cases in the bag, bro. We moving, we moving. They can't stop me from solving these cases, bro. I'm too smart. But I'll see y'all next week with two more. Cause you know people stay dying out here. We gotta solve these cases. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.